This is a quick update for the people who think I'm dead, which I'm glad to say that I'm not. I know that I have been away for the past two months, cause I was very busy back then. And now I finally graduated from high school. So I guess it is time to take another 10 hour flight to have a look of the lab that I have been neglecting for the past 11 months. Well, as the title suggested, I did upgrade my lab a little. So without further ado, let's get to it. On this shelf, I have most of my lab equipment stored here. Here I got a DC power supply along with the platinum electrodes, uh, a couple of hydrometers and uh, some random stuff. Down here I got various measuring devices and a face shield. Over here I got a couple of hot plates, stair bars in various types and uh, an analytical balance. In the cupboard is where all my safety gears are stored. A few safety glasses, harder suits, and the sun respirators. Okay, moving on. I got a lab over, over here. I have a very abusive relationship with it. And uh, you might wonder what that is. Well, it was meant to be a beer can, but I found another use for it. Okay, moving on. This thing who you see here is where most of my experiments are taking place. Oh shit, it got stuck. Okay, not much to see here. Let's look over the shelf on another side. On the top shelf, I got the disposable gloves here and there. Over here, I got a gallery of chemical on display. Unfortunately, some of those leaks during the time I was absent and it made a big mess that I had to clean up. Down there I got three books of three main mineral acids. Lucky enough I was able to find a dealer who sells those. This saved me from going through a lot of trouble making them myself. I got hydrochloric acid here, sulfuric acid and nitric acid. They are industrial grade though, but uh, at a time like this, I really shouldn't complain this much. Down there, I got a few retorts and a fire extinguisher and uh, glassware in extra large size. I have no idea why I still have those slides here, even though I leave my microscope home. Over here, I got a bunch of syringes. And uh, underneath you, I got some glass ones as well. Okay, over here I got a few clamps and a lab jet. It can be very useful sometimes. And uh, just a few pipettes and the steroids. And I got a bunch of chemicals here as well. Okay, on the top, those are just some test tube and uh, some molecular sieve. Nothing much to see here. Over here, I got a few alcohol burners and a torch for high temperature experiments. Over here, I have most of my glass joints in this container. I got this thin star chop for a very decent price. And I finally got some clamps. Over here I have various condensers.
Okay, moving on. Down here I got some funnels, filters, pumps, and tubes, basically anything I can categorize. And I also got some old school glassware over here. Uh, it's totally a waste of money, I never get to use them. I'm glad to say that I got a lot more flux this year, as you can see. I also got those small ones. Look how cute they are. Okay, over here I got a socket structure and uh, some glass joints I couldn't fit in the last container. Here are just some airman wire flask and the beakers. Over here I got a lot of vials. I specifically ordered them with plastic caps. I learned a hard lesson on this if you watch my previous videos. <coughs> Up here I got a vacuum desiccator. It's pretty nice to have one. I got a heating mantle this year. I have been wanting it for ages. And also I got a centrifuge over here. And another hot plate for high temperature purpose. Down here I got a bag of nature based fertilizer. It should last for a lifetime hopefully. <laughs> okay that's about it. If you have any suggestions of any experiment you want to see, leave a comment below while I'm still in my lab. <laughs>